Hello, everybody. I'm Brigitte Gabrielle. I am holding in my hand the Muslim Brotherhood Plan for North America, written in 522, 1991. This is their plan, titled Mudakkara Tafsiriya Lil Hadaf al Estrategi Al Aam fi America Shamaliya. This is about their explanation on how they're going to take over the West, their 100 year plan to infiltrate and dominate the West and establish an Islamic government on Earth. This plan was presented as evidence in the Holy Land Foundation trial, the largest terrorism trial ever in the history of the United States, where our government handed down 108 guilty verdict to Muslim Americans and Muslim organizations in America, raising money in the United States and sending it overseas to support terrorist activity overseas. And I'm going to read you a paragraph about their intention in the United States and how they describe their work. Number four of the paragraph is titled, Understanding the Role of the Muslim Brother in North America. And it says, the process of settlement is a civilization jihadist process with all the word means. The Ikhwan, which is the Arabic word for brothers, must understand that their work in America is a kind of grand jihad in eliminating and destroying the Western civilization from within and sabotaging its miserable house by their hands and the hands of the believers so that it is eliminated and Allah's religion is made victorious over all other religion. As you can see, they don't mince words. They don't beat around the bush. They tell you exactly what they want to do. They go in detail in this booklet talking about how they are going to implement their plan and the organizations that they had set up in the United States in order for them to advance their plan in America. And here are the names of some of the organizations. They give 29, the names of 29 organizations set up in America to do that. So I'm going to read you some of the names. ISNA, the Islamic Society of North America. If the name sound familiar, sounds familiar, it's because ISNA used to be advisors to President Obama about Middle East policy. So now you understand where signing the nuclear deal with Iran came from and why Obama was all over himself trying to appeal to the Iranian regime, even them sending them pallets of cash in the middle of the night on an airplane, landing in an airport in the middle of the night, millions and billions of our tax dollars. Number two on the list is the MSA, the Muslim Student Association. The Muslim Student Association has chapters all over American universities. So today when you are watching all these demonstrators on our American universities screaming death to the Jews, we hate the Jews, from the river to the sea, Gaza will be free, or Palestine will be free. Now you understand where that is coming from. Number eight on the list is the North American Islamic Trust. The North American Islamic Trust owns 90% of mosques in the United States. Number 22 on the list is IAP, Islamic Association for Palestine, which later became CARE, the Council on American Islamic Relations. Now, when you read all this stuff, you think to yourself, how can this happen? Does our government know about this stuff? We've been talking, I have been talking about these things for 50, over 15 years. This is detailed in my book, They Must Be Stopped, which came out in 2008, detailing this plan. When I used to talk about these things, I was accused of being an Islamophobe. People called me a hater. Nobody wanted to listen. When I was warning about the Muslim student associations on college campuses and the money coming from the Middle East funding a social study department, a political science department, and appointing professors who are anti-America and anti-Israel to teach that Israel is evil, America is bad, and the Islamic world is, is the underdog, and the Palestinians are the oppressed. Nobody wanted to listen. Nobody wanted to pay attention. So today when you see all these people organized on the streets in the United States, hating Israel, hating the Jewish people, hating America, tearing down American flags and the pro-Palestinian demonstrations in New York City, now you understand 
where that is coming from. If you want more details about this plan, you can read it through my book, They Must Be Stopped, which is available on Amazon, as well as for a donation for Act for America, tax deductible donation, we will mail you the book um, uh, so you can understand what we are dealing with. Thank you for your time. Please share this video far and wide and encourage your friends to share it. And please go to actforamerica.org right now and become involved. Sign up as a member, stand with us, support the work that we do so together we can take back America and stand up for democracy and defend our Judeo-Christian value system.